Hello everybody, we are back here on The Hunter Called Wild and today is the release of T. Awaroa on Xbox One and well, I figured that because of the fact that today is the release, we would go out to uh, T. Awaroa and actually grind some feral goats, but before we actually get to that, I wanted to drop by Silver Ridge Peaks real quickly because the mule deer are one thing that actually is going to get fixed today for all of you on Xbox. For those of us that are on PC, we've had this for quite a while ever since the release of T. Aurora, but you guys are finally going to get to take a look at the fixed mule deer. So let's go ahead and take out a gigantic mule deer buck right here. And that will do the trick right there. I am on a multiplayer server and this was the first thing that I ended up spotted that was decent so I figured we would take him down. So let's go check him out. I know that all of you on Xbox One have been patiently waiting for this patch and well the day is finally here and you guys can finally enjoy all of the awesome fixes and changes that came with this patch along with the brand new map T Awaroa. And I'll be sure to put out a bunch of content related to that map in the next few days so you guys can get a, another dose of the brand new map. Even though I posted a lot of the stuff before, you guys have seen quite a bit of T. Awaroa content here on the channel, but I know a lot of you are waiting for the map to release on console to actually watch that type of stuff. So I figured we'll start pumping out that kind of content again in the near future. But I wanted to start things off today with a mule deer since as I said they are being fixed with this update and you guys will finally be able to get the diamonds so figured we would start off with that. And this guy right here is a pretty good one. Definitely not bad at all. 287. Oh my gosh. Okay so that is uh, a guaranteed diamond pronghorn right there. That's not what I was expecting to find on this server and I was kind of looking for mule deer but... I mean, I'll take a diamond guaranteed pronghorn. That will do nicely, to say the least. But I think before we kill this, let's go ahead and take a look at the feral goat hunting highlights that I have. Because I spent a few hours trying to get some good goats for you guys since T. Aurora is being released today. And well, here's what we ended up finding. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe what I'm looking at right now. So we finally found ourselves another level 5 feral goat. And this one right here is a mixed feral goat. That is so cool. I'm extremely excited to get this guy on the ground, but I think we're going to do it with something we haven't used in a while. We're going to go grab the 357 Magnum and see if we can take this guy down with it. Because I think that's going to be a really cool challenge, and it's definitely going to be harder than just using the 243 or the Mosin. So I think to make this more interesting, we're going to go do that. So it does appear that 75 meters is the highest distance that we can actually zero this thing to. So we're going to try and get to around that at least possibly a little bit closer if we can. I don't want to risk spooking it off too much though. So we probably won't go too much closer than 75. But if we can get to 75, then I think this should be a makeable shot. Now, obviously, I don't want to screw this thing up because it's not every day you get to see a mixed level 5 goat. So we definitely want to make sure we get a good shot on it. The 357 should be able to do enough work with it to actually drop it somewhat soon. I don't think it'll run too far, but I guess we'll find out shortly. With T. Awaroa being released on consoles very soon, I've been trying to find some cool trophies for you guys for the video on release day and this guy right here is obviously going to do pretty nicely. If we can get him on the ground and get a good shot on him, this is going to be perfect. However, for some reason this guy is traveling. I had to make him alert so they wouldn't continue walking away. It says their zone doesn't end for another 22 minutes so I'm not sure why they started walking away but they did and it looks like getting him alerted actually did calm him down. He's now just drinking again so this will let us get close enough to actually take a shot on him. We are getting extremely close to that 75 meter distance. I don't like the angle he's at though, so whenever we do take a shot, we're probably going to try and get him to go alert. And we're almost at a point where we can do it. And I think, just do this, that should get his attention. Yeah, there we go. Now the second. And that did not go how I was expecting it to. I tried to prone and realized I couldn't in that deep of water, so that's a little unfortunate. However, this is probably going to get him in a better spot anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Look at that beautiful goat running off. That thing is absolutely amazing looking. I'm really happy that we managed to find one of these. And from this angle, the horns look decent. 
I don't know if this is going to be diamond, but I've got high hopes. This is one of the better looking ones we've seen. Let's hope that it ends up giving us a diamond. Oh, there he is. There's the goat. He's extremely close. I did not expect him to come up this fast. He is absolutely barreling in here. He finally calmed down. He is nervous though, so we are going to have to be really careful. Let's go ahead and zero to 50. And then once he gives us a shot, we'll take it. I think with the way he's walking, this should actually be perfect. He notices us. There's not really anything I can do though. I think once he goes broadside, we will take the shot. I wish I could spot him, but unfortunately it's not letting me. He definitely keeps noticing us though. He gets somewhat close and then immediately notices we're here. There we go. We nailed him. I am pretty sure that was a good shot. Let's go, guys. That should be a goat down. And that's looking pretty good. The hunting pressure appeared pretty quickly, and that is definitely vital organ blood. Let's go, guys. I'm actually really excited. I've been looking for another mixed level 5 for a long time. We had a mixed goat that came like 7 points off a diamond a while back, and I have been waiting to find another one. I'm glad that we finally managed to come across it. There he is. There is our mixed level 5 goat. I'm not sure if this guy's going to be diamond. The horns look better than some of the ones that we've killed in the past, so I've got decently high hopes. Either way, this is a really awesome trophy. He's an absolute giant, and he is a mixed fur type, so that makes it even better. Let's go ahead and get a quick picture, and then we will claim him. All right, let's take a look at what he is. It's a gold, unfortunately, 204.80. This was really, really close. And I think we are going to taxonomize him because that's a really awesome trophy. And it's the best mixed goat we've ever killed. But unfortunately not a diamond, so that sucks. But we'll keep looking. We'll eventually find one of these. So it's been about an hour since I took out that mixed feral goat and... We have another level 5 and it spawned at roughly the same area. This one looks a lot better though and it's actually my favorite fur type besides the mix. This is probably my favorite of the common furs. I really really like the way it looks. I think it's called like black brown or something like that. Or black and gold or something to that effect. But it's a really cool fur type and I've really wanted one of these. We got trolled by one a long time ago and... It's always hurt ever since, knowing that it could have been a diamond, but it ended up not being one. So, maybe we'll be able to redeem ourselves now. I can't believe that it's at the exact same spot as the last one, though. As I was saying, it's been about an hour since the last level 5 that we found. Fortunately, these guys are relatively common, so it didn't take all too long until we found another level 5. So, maybe we can redeem ourselves with this guy and seal the deal on a diamond. This estimate's not nearly as high, but the actual horns themselves look better, so... I mean, fingers crossed. We'll see how things go. I do think that to make things a little bit more interesting, we're gonna try a longer range shot with the 357. I still have it on me. I figured we might as well take this guy with him too, so... We will try to do it from a little bit further away. I do want to make sure we have a perfectly broadside shot though, just to make sure we don't hit the shoulder and... Of course, he turns further quartered towards us. <laughs> that would be my luck. All right, well, we got him to go alert. Hopefully, that will get him positioned in the perfect spot. He can just give us a broadside shot. We will take it. If he can just turn slightly to the left, then that should give us the perfect shot. This guy's been kind of stubborn, unfortunately, and looks like he's going to continue to be that way. He always turns just slightly too far. And then I unfortunately can't make the shot. Oh, that right there is perfect. That is the shot we need to make. Well, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I think we might have aimed a little bit too low and it ended up hitting the hill. Either that or he was a little bit further behind the hill than I thought. Either way, we ended up missing that shot, so... We are going to get another opportunity, hopefully. Let's just see if we can move up closer. We're having kind of the same situation as we did with the last goat. And honestly, I didn't even expect to be getting another goat at this location. I 
usually expect the uh, more north lakes to produce the good goats. That's typically where I find them, but today it's been a little bit different. Thankfully, this time we have a much better view of him, but unfortunately, he is going downwind of us, which is definitely less than ideal. So let's go ahead and get a range on this guy. He is 112 meters away. Hopefully he doesn't wind us, but there's a pretty high chance that he will, so... Fingers crossed that he doesn't notice us too quickly here. He actually has not noticed that he's downwind of us yet. And he's almost in a spot where we could probably take the shot. In fact... I think if we alert him... This might be our chance right here. I think that should have got him. That should be a good shot. And the health is going down. I think we got him. That does appear to be a vital hit. Well, that is exactly what we like to see, guys. We got ourselves some vital blood right here. Let's go ahead and follow this, and it should lead us to our goat. Now, with the way the last one went, I am really worried that this guy is probably going to be a troll. Knowing my luck, but I do have a little bit higher hopes because his horns do look a little bit better. So I guess we'll see. If this guy falls just barely short, I'm probably going to be heartbroken because this guy is my favorite fur type besides the mixed. And I've always wanted to get a diamond one, but we will see how things go. Let's go find him. I don't know how I managed to do it, but I ended up passing this guy by about 150 meters in that direction. And then I kept looking around and couldn't find any more tracks, and sure enough, I had passed him by quite a bit. But anyway, here he is. He's right here on the shore. Now let's get a close-up look. It does look to be a little bit bigger than the last one. I can't really tell by how much, but already the horns look to be more straight out, so that's a good sign right there. For those of you that don't know, a lot of the bigger goats have very straight-out horns. Uh, some of the smaller ones kind of curl in and point straight up. This guy's looking decent. Let's hope that he ends up being a diamond. We're going to find a nice clear spot to claim him. And then we will go ahead and claim him. I think that looks pretty good right there. So let's see. Is this guy a diamond? It's a gold. 207.40. Extremely close once again. In fact, that one was even closer than the last. And just as I had feared, he was just barely below diamond. Our luck with these goats has not been good. Before today, we had 13 trolls and one diamond, and now we're up to 15 trolls and only one diamond. And of course, the diamond that I do have is a fur type that I'm not really a big fan of, so that's pretty much been our luck, but we'll keep trying to find more. Well, as you guys can see, we had some really rough luck with the goats. I guess you could say it was good luck, but at the same time, it was bad luck also because they both ended up trolling. But now that you guys have seen that, let's go ahead and take this guy out. I'm excited to finally get a really monster pronghorn down for the lodge. It's been a while since we've seen one. All right, so we got him alert. This should be our opportunity to take the shot. And that should do the trick right there. He went out of view for a second, so I kind of got scared that we might have missed the shot or screwed him up, but it does look like he dropped on the spot. As long as we find vital blood when we get up there, we should be okay. But fingers crossed that we didn't screw that up. I probably shouldn't have rushed it as much as I just did. I have been kicked so many times in multiplayer in the past couple weeks that I really did not want to take any risks of getting kicked before I could claim this guy, so I wanted to get him down as quickly as we possibly could, and sometimes it doesn't pay off, but this time it actually does look like we did get vitals, so at least we know for a fact that this guy is going to be a diamond, and I honestly could not be happier. This is something I've tried to find for quite a while. The last few times that we've gone to Silver Ridge Peaks, we've started off with Pronghorn and just have not been able to seal the deal on a big diamond, but this guy appears to be absolutely huge. And he is indeed 104.30. That is a true monster right there. What a giant Pronghorn. I don't think I've ever killed one bigger. I think I might have killed a 105 at one point. I don't quite remember though, but as far as I know, this is one of the biggest ones that we've killed, if not the biggest. And, oh my gosh, he's actually max weight. He's even bigger than I initially thought. 
That's kind of incredible, honestly. I'm really happy with that. And, oh my gosh. We almost messed that up. That was almost really bad. We just barely clipped the top of the lungs. Wow, that is... I mean, when you think about it, that's about as perfect of a shot as you could possibly get getting the spine and both lungs, but at the same time, that was extremely risky, and I kind of regret even taking that shot, but I mean, it got him down in the end, and that's really all that matters, so let's go take a look at him and both of those goats. Well, I thought we were about to go into the trophy lodge, but I continued hunting on this server, and we just found ourselves a legendary mountain lion, and I haven't seen one of these in quite some time, actually. And they tend to troll quite a bit, so I don't have my hopes too high on this, but we're going to try and take it out if we can, uh, provided it'll actually stop running away, but definitely want to get this guy down. And there he goes. He has finally stopped running. He is currently alert. If he can give us a clear shot, we will take it. And that right there. Ooh, that was almost bad. I was going to say he's in a great spot, but then he turned. And that is a lot of mountain lions, to say the least. There is so many of them there. Let's see if we can get this guy attention. Well, we definitely got his attention there. Now we just need him to stop with a clear broadside shot. You know what? That looked to be a pretty good shot, and it looks like it definitely was. That guy is going down fast, and he's down. Let's go check him out and see if that guy is going to be a diamond. I'm pretty excited because it's been a long time since we've killed a mountain lion that was a level 9. And that definitely looks like vital blood so we for sure hit lung. Every time that I end up getting a shot where it doesn't go down immediately, sometimes I question whether or not it was spine, but from species to species, the speed at which they actually go down tends to vary. So. It scares me when I hunt for different species that I haven't gone for in a while and it doesn't go down immediately from a lung shot. Always makes me think maybe I hit vertebrae. But thankfully we did get a vital hit and let's see if we can get a picture. And not really going to be able to do much better than that, but let's go ahead and claim this guy and see if it is a diamond. It is a diamond, 3970. That's actually a really good one too. That is .70 above diamond. Not bad at all, especially considering I was about to leave this server, but I decided to check a few of the mountain lion spots since he switched the time to, I think it was like 6.30 or 7 in the morning, and I'm glad that I decided to go check them out, because it yielded a diamond, and that's now our second diamond in the past, like, 30 minutes, which is not bad at all. Bit of redemption after failing on both of those feral goats. Well, now that we got that guy, and I'm pretty sure we've hunted everything that I possibly could on this guy's map. Let's go ahead and jump into the trophy lodge. We are now in the trophy lodge and I decided to put these two goats right above this doorway for now. Uh, they're most likely just going to be temporary additions until we actually get some real diamonds to replace them, but I figured having them kind of as the entrance to this room right here looks actually pretty decent. And I mean, we do have some other goats in here, so it, I guess it kind of makes sense. But the main thing that we're going to be looking at since these guys did not come anywhere close to diamond is the pronghorn and the mountain lion. So let's go check those two out. It's absolutely crazy that when I first started doing the intro to this video, I was going to just go out to get a single mule deer and call it good there. But for some reason, I felt like I needed to continue hunting on that server to find something better for the intro. And well, I'm really glad that I did because these are two really awesome trophies and Honestly, they're really big diamonds. These are extremely big diamonds, especially for the um, pronghorn. 104.3 is absolutely massive. It's not too common that you see them top 104, and this is like 0.3 off of max score for the mountain lions, so two really nice diamonds, and I'm extremely happy that I continued hunting. Otherwise, I would have missed out on both of these. I was completely ready to just get that first kill and then start the rest of the video up. But, I'm glad that we stuck with it, and it yielded two really awesome trophies. 
But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. It's a massive help to the channel. But we're going to go ahead and end it there. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post videos three to five times a week and do daily live streams on Call of the Wild, The Hunter Classic, and many, many other games. So if you guys are interested in any of that, consider subscribing and consider liking and commenting on the video. Which also brings me to our next thing, which is be sure to leave a comment, whether it's a video idea or just a suggestion in general, drop a comment because it is one of the biggest ways that you guys can help these videos do better in YouTube's algorithms and in turn help the channel grow. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching once again. We're extremely close to 10k and hopefully we'll be there soon, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!